On the final day of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković took part in a panel discussion yesterday on the European Union's neighbors, which was also attended by Serbian Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic. Vucic conveyed an open invitation for dialogue to both Prime Minister Plenković and Croatian President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarović. The European Commissioner for Enlargement, Johannes Hahn, said at the plenum that tensions in the region should be calmed. He expects Croatia to be a factor of stability, looking toward the future and not the past. The president of the Rector's Conference, Shimon Angelinovic, said in Split that Minister of Science and Education, Pavel Barisic, has his support in the case in which he's being accused of plagiarism. At the same time, the rector of the Zagreb University, Damir Boras, has said that he expects the Constitutional Court to provide its opinion soon regarding a decision by the Committee for Ethics in Science and Higher Education, claiming that the report against Barisic for plagiarism is partly justified. The Dr. Franjo Tujman Croatian Military Academy is opening its doors to visitors today. Visitors can gain information on undergraduate university study programs, conditions and the manner of enrollment, cadet obligations and rights, as well as military training. An interesting attraction will be a tour of the campus and its tactical and technical facility, where visitors will be able to enter a flight simulator that includes an actual pilot's seat and cabin from a MiG-21 fighter jet. Today is Mimosa Day and the National Day of the Fight Against Cervical Cancer. In 2015, 111 women lost their lives to the disease in Croatia. A drive was held at Zagreb's Floral Square today to raise awareness of the need for regular preventive checkups. The Antonia 2017 event is underway this weekend in Rovinsko Selo, where the 26th exhibit of Rovin wines, the 14th exhibit of olive oils, and the 4th festival of Istrian Supa are being held. Some 20 vintners and 15 olive growers from the Rovin area are presenting their wares at this first wine exhibit of the year in Istra. A special attraction is Istrian Supa, consisting of wine in a bucaleta, toasted bread, a little sugar, and pepper and olive oil. Mirjana Lucic Baroni is the only Croatian representative playing in the second week of the Australian Open in Melbourne. She defeated Maria Sakari of Greece by a score of 3 6 6 2 6 3 in the third round to make it to the final 16, where she will face Jennifer Brady of the USA. This is Lucic Baroni's first time playing in the final 16 of a Grand Slam tournament. Meanwhile, in the men's competition, Ivo Karlovic was knocked out of the tournament by Belgian David Goffin, 6-3, 6-2, At the World Handball Championships underway in France, Croatia was defeated by Germany 28-21 in the Rouen last night in the match to determine first place in Group C. Finishing second in the group, Croatia will now face Egypt in Montpellier in the first knockout round. The weather forecast calls for more sunny weather on the coast with mainly clear skies. Partly sunny in the interior with frequent fog or low cloud coverage, especially in Posavina, Slavonia and Lika. Winds will be slight in the interior. A light to moderate Bora wind is expected on the coast, which may be stronger at the foot of the Velebit mountain. Seas will be mainly smooth with possible reduced visibility due to haze. Highs in the interior will depend on how long fog or low cloud coverage lasts and will mainly range between minus 6 and minus 1 degrees. Highs on the coast will range from 8 degrees in the north to 13 degrees in the south. Weather should be without significant change in the interior on Sunday and Monday. Frequent fog or low cloud coverage is expected, especially during the night and morning in lowlands. Sunny periods are possible during the day, especially in mountainous areas, where slightly higher temperatures are expected. Tuesday could be a little warmer in lowlands during the day. Morning temperatures will remain below minus 10 degrees, possibly minus 20 degrees in places. Mainly sunny on the coast tomorrow, the first days of next week will bring more cloud coverage with a chance of rain in places, especially on the open sea and the southern coast. A light to moderate Bora and easterly wind will blow, while Dalmatia will see a southerly wind on Monday, followed by a stronger Bora. Temperatures will be without significant changes, although a little warmer on Monday. 